Hi, jij heet Christine, or hi, I'm Christine, and welcome to Oslo. I had a short layover here, so I reached out to fellow GeoGuessr streamer Credulous, who arranged for a meetup in the city with a few other community members. We strolled around the harbor and then stopped at a food hall where the group surprised me with Brunos. Although the name means brown cheese, it doesn't taste at all like cheese. If anything, it tasted like nut butter that solidified into caramel. It's slightly sweet, a little bit chalky, and it doesn't melt. Oh, also you use these slicers, and I did not know how to use these slicers. They taught me eventually. Five out of five stars, fantastic on waffles with jam. Next, we went to Vigeland Sculpture Park. We made sure to see the iconic obelisk, as well as the very famous man attacked by babies. That was the one I was most excited to see. I even had to pose with it, of course. We also got to see Angry Baby, another famous one that I think was stolen at one point, but was returned for me to see it there. We had one more day in Oslo on the other end of our trip, so we got to spend a little more time at the places we previewed before, like the Opera House. It's designed so that people can walk on the roof and we had the absolute perfect day for it. One thing I always have to do wherever we travel is go high up to get a great view of the area. While we were up on the roof, we saw a party on one of the piers and wandered over to find, I could not make this up, a Cuban dance party. And I swear that every 20 and 30 something in Oslo was at this event with a DJ and dancers and food trucks and just such a great energy. Watching the sunset over the city was the perfect ending to our time in Oslo. It was also really cool that the sun set at like 10, 10.30 p.m. Next up, the Lofoten Islands in Northern Norway. 